I thought that I had found the solution, that everything would be alright. But the equation was meaningless, I had solved nothing. Instead, I'm left with a terrible choice. Ayuri or Kirisu. One of them must die. Are they kind of still off limits? They haven't yet repaired the hole that Susa's machine made. I look down through the hole at the streets of Akiba. From up here, they look narrow and stifling. Across the way, the train rumbles by. I watch the yellow striped cars move fast. I came here because I wanted to be alone. The day before yesterday, I probably cancelled the attempt the hex turn. Chris and Daryl demanded an explanation, but I just couldn't give them one. The decision has paralyzed me. Two days later, I'm still nowhere close to finding an answer. What do I do? Two weeks ago, on July 28th, Dr. Nakabachi held a press conference in this very spot. Same day, Russo was murdered. Let's say we go through the plan and deleted the first email I sent, the one about Crusoe's death, insurance database. That would return us to the better world line, where it all began. What would happen then? I mean, it's awkward now assuming that, like with Mary's death, that Crusoe's death in the better world line is in fact the a convergence point. We don't know if it can be averted. According to my predictions, our friend, lab member number 4, Marcus Ikerusu would disappear. The one who died on July 28th cannot be alive now, on August 15th. It would defy causality, a time paradox. That Voldemort has already rejected her existence. The moment we erase the demo, Ruthie would cease to exist. And so, I'm left with two options. Option 1, Hex turned with the IBM 1500 and erased the first demo I sent, thus returning to the beta world line. We still will disappear and Mayuri will live. Hunt will never build a time machine and the future will be free. Option 2, don't Hex turn, keep living here on Alpha world line. Mayuri will die. So will Moika and FB. Russell will likely be kidnapped by CERN. But at the very least, she won't die. With the research, Jim will gain control of space-time and the future will be a dystopia where no one is free. <laughs> Ridiculous. I joke out the laugh. How am I of all people supposed to make that choice? Come <laughs> I don't really care about the future, whether it's real or real concern. I know I should care, so I entrusted the risk to me. Doesn't that make it my responsibility? But still, it doesn't seem quite real. 20 years is a long time. Right now, only Mayuri and Caruso matter. I must choose which to save. If I had been given the choice back on July 28th, before this all started, I probably would have not have hesitated to abandon Kurisu and save Mayuri. But this... It's not July 28th, it's August 15th. I've spent two long weeks with Kurisu, she's one of, the, of us now. An integral part of the lab. And as I left through time and time again, she was the person I rely on most. Always calm, always thoughtful, always ready with a new hypothesis. Always there to give me a push when I needed it most. I wouldn't even have the time machine if not for Krisu. It's thanks to her that I made it this far. After all she's done for me. 
There's no way I can I can abandon her now. But nor can I let Mayuri die. Everything I've done I need to save her. It would be so weird to just let Mayuri die right now. Considering what we've done all these hours. I would give everything, even my own life, to share safe. More than anything, I want her to live. No matter what, I won't let her die. Kill Kurisu or kill Mayori? That's what this choice comes down to. I drive my fist into the wire fence. Suzuhaya. Felicia. Lukakoya Moeka. Mina no Moyoki say Nishimareta Doritsi Tanoga. Kuna gets lots of Nanokayo. Is there no other option? No way to save them both? What if I use Suzuha's time machine? I could return to the Beta World Line and use her time machine to travel to the Earth 48th. 48th? 28th, I'm sorry. No, it won't work. The reason Suzuha left to 2010 was to prevent CERN from creating a dystopia. It only occurs on this world line. On the Beta World Line? You have no reason to leave to 2010. Suzuha's time machine won't exist. I won't be able to use it. Alright. Then what if I sent Chris a warning via email? I could say. Don't go to Dr. Nakabashi's presentation. No, that won't work either. Remember, causality converges. Chris's death is inevitable on the better world line, just as my release is inevitable on this world line. No matter what I do, it will ensure her death. Damn it, uh. I slowly sink to the floor with my back against the fence. I'm powerless against the will of fate. What should I do? What should I do? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe Marby doesn't die on the current world line. I cancelled Moika's email, plus I haven't had the opportunity to check the Tervinci meter since. Well, we all know that it's still 0 0.5 something, so... Mayuri is still fated to die. Might be a chance. If the pendant continues, Mayuri's death has been pushed back to the night of the 17th. Two days from now. If Mayuri doesn't die between 7 and 8 pm that night, then I won't have to face this horrible decision. I know it's unlikely, I understand that from my experiences so far. Still, I can't help but cling to that hope. My and Carissa, if I can just save them both. Would that be the true ending? Save them both? Then I don't care if the future is for best turn. I'll betray Susa's dream if that's what it takes. But please let Mayuri live. To whom should I make this desperate plea? God? Fate? The universe itself? Either way, I'm just one insignificant human among billions. Will my prayers truly reach? I already know what the answer will be. That knowledge, that certainty, is despair. We ran run for three straight days from the 17th to the, from the, sorry, I'm just, I'm just shocked if I can read straight from the 15th to the 17th. On the last day, I will go with Mayuri and stay with her from morning until Komima closes. It's not really my thing though, and the crowd is ridiculous, so I went off to the other side while Mayuri... <laughs> My, with my bags 
From time to time, Mary appears with new bags for me to guard and use a little snack for us to share. But most of the day, I spend alone. To some extent, I'm here to escape reality, empty my mind to forget my fears. But even when I close my eyes, I can still hear the footsteps of death approaching. So, we're finally here. We skipped two days. We're going straight to the ending, huh? It's already dark by the time the bus drops us back at Akiba. Mary is dragging her costume case behind her. I'm carrying bags covered in Moe artwork and loaded with Dojinchi. These are all Mary's purchases, not mine. I can't believe she bought so much. I guess the reason she doesn't cosplay herself is that she's too busy shopping. We get off the bus and just stand there for a while. Mayuri, what are you going to do now? Are you going to go home soon? Yes, I was thinking about going to the lab. Is there any advice? No, but I don't know. I want to go to the lab with Okarin. I want to go to the lab with you. Yeah, that's true. Maybe my really wants a taste of normalcy again. Now that the case of Komima has ended. I can't be rich for that. I still feel a groan and shrug my shoulders. But not so much that I line up early in the morning for coming my each year like that way my really do. Why did the music stop? To confirm your death. Those words pop into my head, but I quickly shake them away. Why am I so sad of my dying? I want her to live, remember? Suddenly, silence. I don't hide that frown replaces the usual smile on Mary's face. My answer upsets her. But it's not like I could tell her the truth. Could have said like you wanted to spend time with her, that's that's the truth. Or more like exact words, I guess. How do you tell someone they're going to die? Luka I frantically try to smooth things over. コスプレして恥ずかしがっているところを見て笑ってやろうと思ったのだが来ていなくて残念だったああ、だすみんおかんべああ、うんルカ君絶対大人気になっちゃうのにねいろんなブログに画像アップされまくってね新聞社のニュ
次はオカリンもコスプレしてくれるともっと嬉しいかもああ考えておく That's right Don't think negative first Think about a fun bright future えいいの本当に前より自身もコスプレして参加するならなそれだけじゃなくルカことそれとクリスティーナも呼ぼう二人にコスプレさせるよう説得しろそこまでできたなら真打ちとしてこの俺が狂気のマッドサイエンティスト法院狂魔として小見間に降臨しようではないか Next コミマ takes place this winter We'll all be there As if none of this ever happened All of us laughing as mining together Just imagine a future like that そっか道は険しいねでもね今ちょっと想像してみたらとっても楽しそうそれにクリスちゃんはコスプレに興味津々みたいだったし脈あるかもマユシ頑張ってみるね We arrive at the lab. I look up at the second floor, but there's no light in the window. Oddly enough, there's nobody here today. I've got a bad feeling about this. Is Moika going to ambush us? On the previous world line, I forgave Moika and Tanoji. But that has already been undone. This is a new world line. The worlders are still alive, and they're still after the time leap machine. Mayuri, I'll wait here a little bit. I motion for her to sit and wait on the bench in front. Then I'll carefully check the area. I know my efforts are likely futile. But still, I want to do anything I can. I need a thing to give my a chance. However small, of surviving on this world line. Something tells me it would be foolish to go straight up to the lab. But first, I decide to check the street for any suspicious people. I walk down the street towards Durame Bashi Dori, carefully to always keep Mayuri in sight. A white station wagon parked at the end of the street fires his engine and takes off in our direction. Huh? I can cle see clearly through the front window. The man in the driver's seat is un unfamiliar, but I have seen the station wagon before. It's the same one Moika used to bring us over in the previous world line. The same one Tanoji used to transport the Ibn 1500. And now it's bearing down on me at full speed. I'm in the center of the road, there's nowhere to run. The station wagon flips on its high beams, instantly turning my vision white. I can't move. It's all happening too fast. I expected an ambush inside the lab instead. I'm facing a charging car. What do I do? I'm fine, I won't die. This world line hasn't approved that fate. No, wait. What day is it? This is the first time I've made it to the 17th. Does this mean my death is still undecided? Will I die in Myri's place? If that will save her... If that will end this, then maybe it's for the best. No, I don't want to die yet. The two contradictory emotions collide in my mind. My body doesn't know which way to turn. Will I be the one to die? Okay. <laughs> Something slams into my back. I open my eyes. I'm shaking. What? I'm lying on the side of the road. My whole body hurts and I don't appear to be seriously injured. Someone save me. I look up to see the station wagon still like disappearing around the corner. And there, lying in the center of the road, is my wife. I run to her side. My is bleeding from the head. The pavement is liquid blood. Did she protect me? But that's not what I wanted. I lift her body up in my arms. Her eyes twitch and slowly open. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
വീട്ടിൽ Her head wanders as if to seek as if seeking something. It reaches for a starry sky. Her eyelids are heavy. You could close any second now. But still, look straight into my eyes. And for some reason she smiles. Shake. Delicate fingers grasp at the sky. But all they find is empty air. Her arm goes limp. I grab her head before it hits the ground. I just realized I need to edit some things out first. Because I used that CG just now. It's also in the opening, and I, I used that one for a previous video without context. So I need to change that before I upload it. Mary is no longer breathing. I've seen her die countless times, but this time is too much. This time it's all my fault. I embrace Mary's dead of the body. Her lifeless, motionless, fat, tattered body. I let my jaw and bite back my tears. No. Mayuri. Koko kara ja amari. Hoshi ga mie nai to. Konna no. Amari daro. Why did she have to die like this? What possible mini meaning could this death have? Yes, it happened because fate demanded it. Yes, her death was unavoidable. The result of what witches felt like converges. I knew from the beginning that this would happen. But I never imagined that she would die saving me. And with a smile on her face. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there is no future for my on this world line. That brings me once again to the choice. Do I return to the beta world line game increase? Or do I leave things as they are and accept my death? I can't run away. I am the one who twisted fate. I am the one who must decide. <laughs> 